right, so just off this picture alone, I already know where this video is going, man. This is the top 10 most feared rugby players ever. All right, but uh, I don't know a lot of feared rugby players except for Lemieux, and I don't think he was feared, like, actually, like, because he going to be, like, super aggressive or physically beat you up. I just think it was him, like, physically running through your squad, running you down. Hit, every, 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 like, everything about uh, Lemieux was crazy. But we about to see the top 10 most feared players ever. Sub to the channel, man, please. Make sure you like the video. Mm. Is that Triple H? No, nah, that ain't true. <laughs> well, he's a big okay. man, 2 meters 01, 130 we kilograms. When he comes at you like a missile like that, it can do serious damage to you. Ooh. Again, Kuni Wistos and he was fantastic last week. There's no arm. Is them yellow cars when you hit that low? You can't hit that low that hard. Like, bro, about the tear boys whole ACO. He was dirty. So that no, tackle, that's, that's dangerous. That's Thomas Lamavini. Being brave, I think, is a massive part of this game. If Thomas was number 10, I'm scared to watch the rest of these boys. Such a brutal sport. Like being in a car accident every weekend, you know, it's something you're going to get hurt. <laughs> soon as he caught that thing. <laughs> hey, that, that boy, that boy spared two boys in the same play. Spared one, got up red, got the next one. Ah, come here. <laughs> Shapes, short side and heads that direction. Just pops it one off to the tank. Two is sober. Two is sober. <laughs> hit the ground bro look at that Ooh. <laughs> that flipper is crazy yeah Scott Berger would be one at the top of my list he's uh he's someone that uh, runs at you full full tip for the first minute to the 80th minute and he doesn't stop mate he's an absolute phenomenon of Alessana. Looks like he's eating Japan while he was there. Dang. He lines up against you for the first time, you must think. Oh my so god. It looks like oh he eating god, Japan. There's <laughs> <laughs> two Elangi who did not avoid Shane Horgan.
memories though about um, some good bumping with uh, Henry Tuilagi. <laughs> yeah, no, that is to this day I think probably the most scary thing I've ever seen on a rugby field. <laughs> Getting him on the ground is just a compliment. Ah, them things hurt me. Ah. Gave him a nice gap, and he actually he sat. I knew Lemuse had to be on here, but Lemuse too crazy. He fourth, but who is before Step him? Step the gap to run straight at me and run straight. At me. So, yeah, he he was a freak and, and really really scary. So, um, yeah, I, for me the best rugby player there ever has been. So ever. he was really good. Pinball. And he was so fast too, so it was just like, hey, yo, I love that one when he has already fallen and still ran him over. Look, already fallen. That. <laughs> Yeah, he was so fast and everything, too. That's crazy. Bro, he's just running through tackles, bro. Hey, <laughs> man, it's a good story pre-season saying there were not enough weights oh, in the Western the Province head. gym. They had to go out and get him 75 kilograms down there so they could just change within his potential. Yeah, they're supposed to check him for the roids. Are you still wearing enough layers to insert? Yeah, he was a menace, though. <laughs> oh, he was a bully, though. Penalty here for a high tackle, okay? okay? He's got him high, he's pulled him to ground. What we have after it is unacceptable by any player, especially the captain, okay? We're going to continue with the penalty for you here, but be very careful. When players run in, there is a high chance that we could return the penalty over. I've cleaned him out, though. And then even. I've talked to him already, okay? Please control your team and control yourself as well. Sebastian. Ooh. I watched his highlight already. He was a menace. I don't know. I don't know if I watched his whole highlight or if I seen him on uh, Genetic Freaks.
scariest person you've played either with or against over the years? I think in his prime, like his Buerta, he just loved the pain. If he did something and someone split his ear open, he would just laugh at it. He was just one of those guys because he used to be a bouncer or working doors and stuff in, you know, at nightclubs and stuff before he started. So he, he was quite a rough cat before he started playing rugby. And then obviously you could see that, you know, the violence and stuff coming through. Have you ever hit somebody properly on the rugby field? Have you ever hit somebody on the rugby field? Yeah, there was a few times over, right? <laughs> Oh man. One of my reasons I retired from, from international rugby because I got an email and say there will be five five extra HD cameras around the pitch, and I thought, no, that's enough. They're gonna get me. <laughs> uh, man, the Kaboro boys was just dirty as hell for real, for real. So, no wonder they was fair, but holy, um, there's a few on that list that was just the old, some, some really good athletes, but they just ran hard, they just played hard, they hit hard, and everything was clean. Like I said, and then there was just a few of them when they like, come on, bro, this ain't this ain't sports. You out here beating people up, bro. <laughs> hey, yo, if you like seeing videos like this, man, make sure you let me know down in the comments. Um, sub to the channel. Make sure you like this video so I can keep growing. That's going to keep me grinding, man. Go ahead, TV.